Hey guys, I did a video on this Lepto a little while back. Um, I got this Jack-O-Lantern Lepto Colony as an addition to my tank and I put it in my new additions video. And one of the cool things in that video when I was uh, videoing it up close, I caught it moving, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. So I wanted to pull that piece out and show it here in a shorter video. A lot of times with these encrusting corals, we think of them as very rigid and uh, just encrusting over their rock and existing in a stationary motion. But they do have the ability to shrink and pull um, here and there. Obviously, they, they're not moving, moving like we think of like hammers and things like that. But they do have the ability to shrink and expand their flesh. And um, I happened to catch that on camera, which I thought was pretty cool. As I was just kind of doing my up close video here, so the different variations and striations and the colors could show, um, is when I caught it moving. All right, so you can see the feeding tentacles and things like that coming out. We're going to jump back to an area that I just showed you, and that's where it moves. So look here, fish going to come in a second. And you can see it kind of moved there. It moves and pops open that little seam there, as well as there's a additional area on it where the flesh moves uh, without popping open. It just moves. You can see the change in the way it looks. So we're going to jump back and look at it again. So again, here is that uh, crease spot. So keep an eye on that spot. Um, it's the fish. The fish is going to come in, and then it's going to pop open. Um, when it pops open, it's going to look like this. So the fish is going to, uh, I'm going to go back to the live video and we're going to see it happen with the fish coming in and the coral moving there. So here it is. Um, fish comes in and the coral pops open. So one more time, fish comes in, coral pops open. Uh, the second area where you're going to see it move is circled here. You can see how tight those lines are together right now, and, uh, and then they're going to spread apart. So after that fish comes in, take a look. They're going to spread apart and change like that. You can see how they look different. They're not quite as tight. It's kind of shifted a little bit. Um, so that's a piece that is moving on the actual skeleton. So here we go. Fish comes in, and there you go. So watch it as the fish comes in. It totally just changes as he's going. You see it change there. Um, and it one last time, the fish will come in, and there we go. So hopefully you liked it. Um, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And I will get more content out soon. Thanks, guys.